a U.S. spy satellite that was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard a SpaceX rocket on Sunday failed to reach orbit and is assumed to be a total loss, two U.S. officials briefed on the mission have revealed. The classified intelligence satellite built by Northrop Grumman Corp. failed to separate from the second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket on Monday and is assumed to have broken up or plunged into the sea, said the two officials, who spoke on condition of anonymity. The satellite is assumed to be a write-off, one of the officials said. The presumed loss of the satellite was first reported by the Wall Street Journal. Northrop Grumman built the multi-billion dollar satellite, codenamed Zuma, and was responsible for choosing the SpaceX Falcon 9 launch vehicle, both officials said. And you see on your screen, we have had successful liftoff of Falcon 9 carrying Zuma. We have cleared the tower, so we're now coming up on two events that is going supersonic and max-Q. Now, maximum aerodynamic pressure is when we are at the point of maximum stress on the vehicle. From that point on, we're going through thinner and thinner atmosphere, so stress will continually decrease.